Hi Tina, this is Norm from Schaefer Chevrolet here with one of our 2014 Chevrolet Impalas. Uh, this one is ashen gray, so it's a dark gray, um, not quite black. Uh, but I just wanted to take a look and see what the Impala had to offer you. Um, let's take a peek. First of all, over here you'll see power windows, mirrors. You also have the power locks there. Power seat. Nice looking interior. If you slide in, here's what you'll see. Um, right up top, we have uh, for our, our dome lights, of course. And then we have the uh, OnStar capabilities. Really nice to have uh, peace of mind, you know, in case anything were to happen out on the road. Uh, sorry about the glare here, but uh, we'll take a look over at our radio. Right up here, you'll see uh, fully touch screen. Really cool technology, too. Um, actually, we'll, we'll take her like this. There we go. Now you can actually see. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we have our full touch screen right here. Um, you got a lot of really cool things that you can do with this. Um, for example, if you wanted to pause the radio, you can. If you want to rewind it back to that song, the beginning of the song that you like, you can do that also. Um, but we'll catch her back up. Um, but here's all of our radio controls here. Um, and then if, for those that don't really like to use that uh, touch screen, you have all your, your controls right down here too. You know, you can always go through the different um, settings like that. You go ahead and press this, slides up. To review, reveal some space back here, I see, for example, a little USB port right back there. We can go ahead and close that again. Uh, but right down here, you'll see your CD player. Uh, we have our climate controls for driver and passenger. A couple different features here. To sync it, this will just make the temperature both on either side. And then the auto function is if you want it on uh, to 80, and it goes all the way up to 80, and it's not going to get hotter than that. It's actually going to cool itself down so it'll go, you know, stay at that even temperature, kind of like your house. Um, in the older vehicles, you turn your heat on full blast, it'll go full blast with, with you know, no limitations. Um, so there's that. And then right down here we have our shifter with the plus and minus for manual shifting. A little bit of storage here. Uh, you get a 12 volt charger there. We have right over here uh, for our traction stability track. You open up the center console to reveal some uh, some space down here. We have this, which is fully removable. But you look down there, a couple of USB ports, an SD card slot, and an auxiliary port. We we'll go ahead and put that back in. We'll look over here at our gauges, and you'll see it. it's laid out a little bit differently than it has been before. I'll take a look. Um, we have steering wheel controls. I'll go over that with you. Um, one really cool function up front is the voice commands. Um, whether you want to make a phone call, you want to change the radio station, whatever be the case. Um, so I'll go ahead and press that. Command, please. Tune to 102.5. Okay, so it, it tuned right to 102.5 WIOG for us. Um, right over here, though, um, you want to press this button. It'll pull open this. You'll be able to see different things on your vehicle, um, trips, fuel range, fuel economy, oil life, tire pressure, uh, which is really neat. You know, you really get to see what's going on with your vehicle, and then they have the other options, audio, phone, navigation, things like that. Uh, we go ahead and press audio. All it's going to do is pull up what we're listening to. If I were to hit this right button here, it'll pull open that second menu that just popped open. Right over here, we have our cruise control. This would be to activate it, to turn it off, resume and set. Here you'll see your blinkers, of course. And then, of course, right over here will be for our windshield wiper settings. We have our trunk release, parking brake. Um, this also, uh, tilt, telescope. That's really cool to have, too. <clears throat> it's not everybody's built the same. Take a look back here. A ton of space in the Impala. They're known to be full-size, comfortable um, family cars there. Pull this down, you get a couple cup holders, center console armrest. Then if you need more space, 
you have the 60-40 split seat, which folds down pretty much flat. So if anything doesn't fit in the trunk that this thing has, you got a little extra space. Take a walk around her. Very nice, beautiful looking car. I love what they've done for the new year. And uh, the other thing I wanted to come over and show you right here, 2014 Impala 1LT. Uh, like I said, ash and gray with the jet black interior. Uh, 2.5 liter four cylinder. So with that four cylinder, you're getting 25 combined fuel economy, 21 city, 31 highway. Uh, so you're getting great fuel economy. They have great safety ratings on this. Uh, so you can't really go wrong with these new Impalas. Uh, but once again, Norm from Schaefer Chevrolet. Here with our 2014 Chevrolet Impala 1LT, you can reach me at 989-879-2211 or find me right here in the middle of Pink County. Thank you very much for watching.